Reminder number four. Come on, buddy. Wake up. Pain can change you, but doesn't mean... That, look, pain can change you, but that doesn't mean it has to be a bad change. Take that pain and turn it into wisdom. Watch this, reminder number four. All challenges can turn into wisdom. Matter of fact, the Bible says in James 1 and 5, if any of you need wisdom, ask ye of God, which giveth to all men largely, that gives to all men, that giveth to all men largely. I love that. And abradeth not, that shall be given to him. James 1 and 5. So watch this. The difference in knowledge and wisdom. Knowledge is know-how. I know a lot of people that's got know-how. But they don't know how to execute it. Wisdom is how to. Wisdom is how to use the know-how. And so we might have some knowledge, but until we go through the trials and learn how to work it correctly, then then we might not we might know how, but we don't know how. Amen. We can be in the way. So so here we go. Get ready. Challenges form greater understanding. I want you to understand this. Challenges form greater understanding, skills, and wisdom in life. There's a purpose to what you're going through. Trust God. Now, now, now how many remember telling a story about uh, Georgia? Georgia, their big crop was cotton. At the turn of the century, they were growing cotton. And the boll weevil came along. They didn't have the modern technology that we have today. So when the boll weevil came along, they could not stop the boll weevil. The boll weevil was killing Georgia because it was eating up their cash crop. I want y'all to listen. Listen carefully. Their cash crop was cotton. It was eating up all their cash. It was taking them, sucking them dry. There was nothing they could do. One of the farmers started praying. And they started praying. The Lord said, start searching. Find something else. And one of the farmers found peanuts. And so he told the other guy, he said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try planting peanuts. And they said, why in the world would you plant peanuts? He said, because peanuts are not affected by the mold weevil. And they laughed at him. And he planted peanuts anyway. And he made in three months what the year before he couldn't make the whole year with cotton. In three months. The other guy said, you know what, maybe you've got a point there. I, when I see that thing about back when I was in Bible college the first time, and I was taking the general epistles and it was hard, and, 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 and the guy worked up us a bit of slack. And so, so uh, 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 DC's mama showed me a way to study with Get a spiral thing of, of note cards and write them down and just flip. Write them down a question and flip. And while you're riding down the road, wherever you're at, you carry it in your pocket. And when you get a chance while you're riding down the road, take it and flip and just keep studying like this. And so we had this hard test. I think it was like 100 questions. And, and, and this test was coming up and the other preachers were going, man, I, I don't know what we're going to do about this. This is some tough stuff. And I said, let me show you something my wife showed me. And they said, what is it? And I showed them this note card. And I said, okay, watch this. And I brought it to class, and I showed it to him. And the guy said, can you make us one? I said, you can make your own. <laughs> I said, well, go ahead and take all your questions, all your study stuff, write it down, and when you're riding down the road, when you're sitting somewhere, white, whatever, flip it over and keep looking at it. One of the other guys told me, he said, I don't need that. I'm a straight-A student. I who in the world would hear somebody doing something like that? I said, well, I'm a straight-A student, too. But I can tell you, remember, we're also pastors and we're family members. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got children. We got so much going on. You better take wise advice and use this thing. And he goes, I don't need that. I'm a straight A student. I said, okay. He got mad at me. I said, fine, bro. Brother Welton, that's what you're going to be. Fine. Test came. We went through the test. The other guys had done what I showed them to do. We took it and we, and it, there's other cars doing the same thing. Going over the note cards. On the way up to the test, I was going over those note cards. Before the test was passed out, I wasn't talking to everybody else. I was going over those note cards. The time came for the test. It lasted, we had like two hours to take the test. I did mine in like an hour. The other guys did theirs in like an hour. That guy that said he didn't need them, when the two hours was up, he was still doing this. When it come five before the test, results come back. We all made A's and B's except for him. He made a D. He came over to me with his hat in his hand and said, hey, brother David. I said, hey, he said, show me how you do that again. <laughs> the same way with the bow weevil. They were eating by the bow weevil, but the other guy with the, with the peanuts, as soon 
as another guy saw the results, they quit laughing at him, and then they started planting peanuts. And guess what? Who, what, who was our president that was the peanut farmer? Carter. Jimmy Carter, amen. He was known for all his peanuts. <laughs> There's other things he was known for, too. He was known as the worst president in our lifetime. <laughs> all right, ready? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. Number five. I can't wait. Number five. 